Hello and welcome to part 0 0.2, I guess? Yeah, so uh, in this video we're going to set up the animations for the character actually, so that might be a good idea. So let's get uh, let's get started. So we need to create a animation controller. I'm just going to copy that name here and make a new folder called animation controllers. Draw this one in here. Here we go. And just call it... Uh, let's just call it player. But in theory both of them are going to use it. So we are going to create a new print tree. Just gonna call it print tree fee because that's not going to be much difference. So let's have a look see. So this is gonna be a one direction. And very, I actually don't think I'm going to use uh, the run, just gonna use the walk. So we're gonna drag, drag. Oh, let's just uh, gonna find the aisle and we're gonna find the the walk. I'm going to go into parameter and simply make a new float in here called, hmm, let's just call it speed, I guess. <laughs> oh, oh, it is. Let's call it move speed. There we go. Uh, and we're going to change up this here to move speed. So if move speed is zero, you you will idle. Oh no 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 no. There we go. So if move speed is zero, you will idle. Else you will go into the walk animation. Goody. And we will then go into our models. Oh, it already has. Beautiful. So we can just drag the player into it. Like this. And if we press play, play, sorry. You can see that it stand in the idle animation. As the shot. Goody. Alright, so let's actually do so we can move around. So we're gonna create a new folder. When you can let scripts, and I hope I spelled that correctly. If not, I'm sorry. And we're just going to make one called player. And under player, we are going to make a new script called player. Yeah, that's a, a paradox in itself. Oh, so we are now going to open up Visual Studio and drag it to the right screen. Gonna zoom in a little. So I'm not sure people watching can actually see it. And here we are going to make uh, two variables. They have to be serializable. So it's a private float, a little bit just called movement speed. And yeah, all right, it just froze for a second. And that's 10f. Uh, because we're using float, we have to specify it with af. And we're also going to have a private rotate speed. So how fast a character actually rotate. Alrighty. Next up, we're going to need a reference to the anima animator. Or animator. There we go. All right. Next, we need a new other private to the rich body. I'm just going to call it RB. And next, we need a float for the vertical. And we need another float for the horizontal. Because we're simply just going to use Unity's uh, already built in system to easily find. Uh, what uh, arrows you are clicking on, or what key keys you are clicking on. But first, in the awake method, we need to actually have it go in and um, and find the animator. An animator actually is in the child, so we're gonna say get uh, get component in child, and it is of course the animator. Then we need the rigid body. And that is just get component because it is on the same component. 
gonna type rigid body. Just go and remove those comments. And under here, we are actually also will be needing. Oh, yeah, we can just press F E X, go to fixed update, press double tap, and there we have it. Because we need fixed update because we are working with a rigid body. So now we are going to make a new private called input handler because that is going to take in our inputs. So first we're going to the verticality and we were going to get that with input dot get access and we then need to put in or put in the yeah verticality. I don't know if I actually saying that correct so that's one thing and next we need higher santa higher santa call higher so and we just don't need to get the access for that one uh let's see if i can spell this correctly wonderbar and this one will go into update because uh, in, if it when it is an update it means every frame it will be called meaning uh, our input will get the best reaction possible. However, when we are working with um, with a rigid body, you should always try, because a rigid body is a physical object, uh, you should always try to have it move, only be moved in fixed update. And now we're going to make a new method in here called movement. If I could spell it correctly. And movement are uh, then going to take in um, actually, it doesn't need to take in two, two variables, I can see. Alright, so now we need to make a vector free to determine what way we are actually moving. So we are going to say movement equals new vector free. And we are going to say horizontal. Uh, dot not comma comma yeah comma comma zero comma vertical and we're going to time that with our move speed oh there we go and then we're going to say rigid body dot velocity equals move speed oh no movement if I can spell this correctly movement there we go so now we have um, how it moves. We also need it to actually rotate. So we're going to say um, vector free uh, direction. Here we go. Equals vector free dot rotate forward. And that uh, then we need to see it. It is it transform dot forward. So it rotates. Uh, when it wants to rotate in the way it's moving, and we're going to put in movement, the movement, so it knows what way we are moving, and then we need to say the rotate speed, so how fast it should rotate in that direction, and here we are going to put in time dot fix uh, delta time uh, dot for some reason it wants this, I'm not sure why, but so I'm just gonna give it it. Uh, I'm not apparently all knowing, <laughs> sorry about that. <laughs> and that rotation equals, then we need to call a quaternion and tell it to look in direction of our direction. All right, so we're telling it we want it to look look forward in the direction we are moving and then rotate in the speed um, yeah in the speed in the last update and of course how fast we want it to rotate then we need also to actually tell our animation how fast to move so we're gonna call any just gonna call it am move equals vector free and call it, oh, no, my bad, because we need it to be, uh, we need to make it into an actual, uh, actual number. Um, 
So we're going to put in that uh, the movement here, we can see. Oh, so now we put in the movement, this thing here. We'll transform it into a float, so we'll get a single number. However, we need a number from 0 to 1, so we're also going to normalize it. So now the number will go from 0 to 1. Goody. So now we also know to, you, to go into our animations and actually set float. And we're going to tell it what float it is, and it is move speed. And we're going to give it animation. Hello. Uh, animation move and just to be sure we're gonna go back to our project uh, double click to open up this and see it is move speed oh let's actually delete this one because we're not using it so we can see yes this is the one good and we're gonna return so now it should look like this oh yeah we should probably also add it into fixed movement and save good so there we have the scene so let's actually try and put this on our player now simply drag the file over and press play so now we should oh yeah something something went wrong <laughs> now that is interesting let's see what is going wrong why is it doing? Oh, I know why. It's because we uh, I did uh, a whoopsie. So we actually need to go back into uh, Mixamer and go to walk. Uh, just gonna take some walk. Uh, I need to refresh the website. It's because we didn't tell it that we don't want a we want a walk in place animation. We don't want it to use uh, root motion. So we're simply just going to download this one again. My bad about that. We live, we learn, and we're gonna save, open up, go to download, and we should now have female walk too. Let's open our project and simply drag it in. There we go. Then we can actually also delete uh, running because I'm not going to use that and it's also the wrong kind of running. So let's just rename this to, to walk as well. And go in here and type in walk and set it. Oh yeah, we've got to set it to be a uh, a human node animation, apply, go in here, set it to loop, set it into all the poses, set it all to original, apply. Then we are going to go into our player here and simply add walk. And if we now press play, it should hopefully not bug out. It's a little fast though. I can definitely tell that, so let's go into player and set it to like, what if, free. Free, that seems fine. As you can see now, he walks around. So now we can go over and ask the lady some questions. Well, we didn't need to actually make that, so let's just go in. Save that. Here we go. And I'm gonna end the episode here this time. Thank you for watching.